Polly from Biking Life. It's a bit of a brighter morning than it has been of late. So how are you all doing? No, I wouldn't say you used to go into the house of the desk, you'd have taken your helmet and they're off, wouldn't there? Not anymore. Oh, you quite happily leave it on now. You don't mind when it's like this, do you? I told you, like, if the, the days are like this, I'd definitely be bringing one, but... When it's dark and dingy and wet, then I won't. I think I started producing too many videos um, at this time of year, really, because I'm up against it, aren't I? So today we're going to go slow-ish. Now, that means I'm going to try not to overtake and make my way to work steady away. It's 26 minutes past seven. I'm going to try not to overtake. This is <laughs> very hard for me, so bear with me. If I do, I do, you know what I mean? I'm not, uh, I'm not saying I won't, but I am going to try my best just to not overtake. I've always said the whole point of being uh, on a car is uh, or in a car on a bike I mean is so you can get to work very easily but uh, no we're gonna go as steady as we can and try our best <laughs> I know I'll get defeated at some point because I can already see traffic I want to get past <laughs> Oh dear, this is going to be good. Yeah, the bike got the leaves up now. I've come off the trees, haven't they? Oh dear. It is a nice bright morning, actually. It's lovely. No, it isn't 11 degrees, it's actually 8 degrees. Sorry, folks. morning was like this it would be bliss wouldn't it huh? you'd be able to make a video every day but unfortunately that's not the case oh dear this is where I'm gonna struggle <laughs> I am definitely gonna struggle here you know I might have set myself up for failure but I am I'm gonna do it I'm gonna push through this uh, feeling there I need to get past everyone. I get excited when I get the, get big red out of the water. I know that, uh, you know, I can just take my time or do as I please, really, because there's nothing that's really going to slow me down except when I set myself challenges like this. Well, that was painless enough. Oh, look how beautiful it is here this morning, eh? Look at the sea. Fantastic. Glorious sunshine bathing Teesside this morning. Now this is what we want every single morning, isn't it, folks? Put you in a better frame of mind straight away. Today is Wednesday. I call it the hump day because we're just getting over the hump of the week now. And we're heading towards the weekend. 
Now normally you know us, I pull out and overtake everyone, but I'm not. Oh, I want to. Look at this person's going slow. Speed up, speed up, come on. Stop temptation. Thankfully. It's very breezy again today. We, I think we only have uh, 20 plus mile an hour winds. But still they do interfere, don't they? The part down here is where I get shed loads of uh, shed loads of shed loads of wind coming straight down, straight down off the hills, heading out towards the ocean. Lovely, nice, steady right. Oh, look at the traffic. Big line of traffic up here. Oh dear me, Paul. Is this where the failure will happen? Oh dear me, look, Paul, come on. Stop it. I'm deaf dying to get past these, I really am. But the thing is, it's 31 minutes past 7, so I've got stacks and stacks of time. So there's no point rushing. Well, the wind's not too bad this morning. It was stronger yesterday coming home. It was bloody miserable coming home. It was dark and uh, spotting on terrain, or spitting on terrain. Well, I've done it so far. Now, on a dual carriageway, it doesn't matter, does it? It's single roads, what I'm trying to avoid overtaking on. I'm trying to be as good as I can. I've done it. I've done it so far. <coughs> Sticking within the speed limits as well. Yes, the leaves have, leaves have definitely left the trees, The uh, especially with these winds that we keep having. Normally I'm flying up here. I mean, even though I'm going relatively slow, I'm still enjoying myself being out on this big fella. Each day. Now, a friend of mine, Dave Sanderson, hello Dave, hope you're watching this one, said something that rang very true with me. He said, you know, when you're taking different routes home, it makes you more alert because it's different. You're not getting sort of used to the same routine all the time so you don't switch off and it is so true you know I, I didn't even need to think about that one because it is very true when you're taking a different route you don't switch off because it's new to you keeps you more awake more alert yes true words of Dave Tell you what I do like the look of those uh, defenders. I've always liked that uh, model of motor. I wouldn't have one unless I was given one, of course. For if I was to be given one, I'd strip it completely down to the chassis and uh, redo everything, make it into a big project. But yeah, this is completely different for me. I've not uh, been aggressive in my riding or anything. I've just sat back, 
you know, gone at the speed limits. And not once thought about, oh, well, I have thought about overtaking everything in bloody sight, but uh, I've refrained from doing it. What do you reckon to the front-facing camera folks uh, that you'll have seen? I think it's all right. I managed to get it all synced up nice and uh, good. It's pretty easy to do once you know how to do it. I keep uh, well. I've, I have harped on about this uh, free um, video editing tool called Shot Cut. It's absolutely fantastic for an open source software that's completely and utterly free. It does everything you need it to do. You know, I, I really. Uh, I, f I could be without it, I love it. And there's certainly not a, a way on this earth that I would pay for anything now when that does everything I need it to do. And I don't even know its full potential yet. And that's the thing. I could do all sorts with it. But I'm keeping it simple and basic. Ah, you enjoy your little speeding today. I'm not bothered today. He didn't get very far, did he? The lights have changed. Oh dear, we done the last bar. I've got enough to I'm gonna got enough petrol to get home, I think. Just gonna take me time, there's no rush. <coughs> We're over at Teesport. Teesport is just down here. go straight over this roundabout straight down that's Teesport itself Been quite a lot of stuff coming into Teesport <coughs> oh, excuse me yes I've been relatively calm this morning I'm not on the bike it's not like me. Mind you, I do edit a fair bit of um, manoeuvres out there I undertake. You know, I do, uh, I do keep a lot of it out and not in the public view. Right, I'm enjoying this. Oh, I'm dying to go through. Look at that big bloody gap. Ah, sod it. There's a car here right next to me. I've done it, folks. I broke where I was going to do. I couldn't resist. <laughs> now, he's another one behind me driving with no lights or anything on. You know, lights definitely. Dark car there, no lights. The car behind me is a, the one I've just uh, tried to get, well I did get past, is a very low to the ground car with no lights on it, it's dark, you know. Yeah, the set off home last night and uh, the, it was really cloudy and there was quite a fair bit of uh, drizzle and rain but it was really getting dark. I did film it but it was a case again where I just was not feeling uh, like making a vlog to be fair. I get sick of uh, bringing horrible, dark and miserable footage to you. I need some bright sunshine to lighten the mood and lighten the spirits. I do. One thing I do like uh, about motorbikes is, uh, especially with Big Red, you've got a fair amount of engine braking. So it saves you having to put your foot down on, you know, or pull the brakes or foot down on the back brake, I was going to say. So it does allow you to uh, not use your brakes as much. Uh, but it also depends on your, your riding style and how fast you're going and stuff like that. 
There's one thing that's never ever bothered me on this bike and that's not, I mean I don't have a gear indicator and I don't see it as an essential item, I don't know why you know we crave to have that knowledge of what gear it is, I mean if you pull your clutch in and pull your foot up to change gear and you know it, then you realise you're in top gear, what does it matter? If you haven't got a gear indicator, you haven't got one. I don't think it, I don't think I need to know. One of the beauties about this is I have managed to get 300 plus miles out of this tank. It's a I think it's a 29 litre tank, but uh, by God, it's good. Now I've enjoyed this uh, ride to work, and I, as I said, I wish every day was as bright as this. Well, bright as when I started. It's now starting to dull over a little bit, but it is where it is. And I'm not too far from work, as you can... Well, that is my works here, on the left. The entrance is it. Well, we have an entrance back there, but we use this entrance up here. Well, we go to these lights and then we turn left. I'll show you it anyway. Yes, all this is my works, all this. All on the left-hand side. So this is the entrance coming up here where that sign is. So I'll say to Rata for now, folks. I've been Paul from Biking Life. Bye for now, folks. Bye.